Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of a character showcase for Isaac. We're jumping in today and we are showcasing the new Masked Emma. Now this isn't actually a new character, uh, but it's a very, very new take on the character. The th third year anniversary update came out, I believe it was, for the Mastema character. And there's been some shakeups to how this character works. For one, we have a tail now, which is pretty cool. But for two, as you can see now, we have an active called Desecrated Heart. And it changes entirely how this character works. So before, um, as you'll probably remember, you could trade in your... Uh, heart slots and gain broken hearts to gain items depending on the quality you got more broken hearts and you could use the sack room uh, The devil deal spikes and you could go to the next floor to remove a broken heart But going to the next floor no longer removes a broken heart The only way to remove it is the other two methods as before I believe or to um, Use our desecrated heart now. We can use desecrated heart at any time That has a chance to remove a broken heart as the amount of charges left in it increases, so like as, as we get closer and closer to full, that is going to be an increased chance to remove a broken heart, and a full charge is guaranteed to remove a broken heart. So this, ha this character is a little more limited than it used to be, but there's a little bit more strategy, and there's some, there's some genuine interesting risk-reward on top of the already thorough amounts of risk-reward this character has, which I'm quite happy about. Um... Converts all rocks, poops into pennies, that's very good. Spawn 1 to 10 keys, that's very good. I like that. Um, and then, spicy keys. We could have got a whole hell of a lot of spicy keys there. In fact, it would have been a very, very good idea to do that. Um, I missed the mark there, but I honestly don't think we'll need it. I'm going to come back and maybe Queen of Diamonds this room, but I'd rather blow up that tinted rock before we do that. Uh, but we're going to see our first taste of our new item rooms here, the purple ones. This is going to be a broken heart trade for an item. A Devil's Tooth, 8% chance to transform any to a stronger version, half the HP. Yeah, we'll give that a go. It's only one broken heart. Um, and we can maybe see about using our desecrated heart here to... Um, oh, there you go. That upgraded that enemy. Uh, could see about using our desecrated heart here to get an early broken heart removal. You did actually see there something I didn't realize. We got a pip of charge from being damaged there. So taking damage also charges your desecrated heart, which gives gives us even more room to play around with. I like it. I like it a lot. Apologies, I paused there to sneeze. I was thinking you guys probably didn't want to hear the sneeze, so I decided it'd be a better idea to remove it. <laughs> oh my god, okay. It's okay, I, I don't mind taking bad damage because we get desecrated heart charges. I do mind that a little bit though. Okay, right. We do have some bombs now, so let's go and bomb our Tinted Rock over here, and then we can use our Queen of Diamonds as we see fit. Lovely. So, Queen of Diamonds. Go for the big ones first, because everything else will disappear if I'm not quick enough yet. And you wouldn't get a ton out of that, but still, that's a good amount. Um, we can take a look at the little shop rooney and see what it has on offer for us, because I'm sure we can get some good stuff there. But yeah, this Devil's thing, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how good it's going to be. It seems decent overall. Upgrade the enemy, but you lower their HP. So you can, in theory, kill them a lot quicker. But you might have to deal with some slightly tetchy enemies that are a bit more difficult than the early floors that you're on. Either way, I like it. <clears throat> I've just been for a little out and about walk around. It's very nice at the minute. Ooh, blue map, thank you. Poke good and like exactly the best. I'm gonna do this, see what this does. Anzus. Anzus. It's rather nice. Actually, Anzus is kind of amazing here. Um I'm gonna buy the part. I'm, I'm gonna buy this item for a bomb. And we'll buy this as well. Queen of Clubs. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um <clears throat> I'll grab the Queen of Clubs first. We get Dr. Fetus for a room. I'm going to do it in here so we can bomb into our secret room. Queen of Clubs. Careful, careful. There you go. We, we might as well, while we're here, blow up all of these. Why not? I think we're making the most of all of this. I'm going to out. This is a re reasonably good room to do this in, actually. There's some more money there as well. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Let's blow up a few rocks here. I don't need to get everything, but we might as well try and look for a few rocks here and there that we can, like, blow up and... Maybe get a crawl space from, right? Maybe. But yeah, just been for a little walk about because it's really nice in the UK today. And I went and got an ice cream in the town centre. Got some food. It was very, very nice. Had a really good time. And I'm just getting back from that. Ready to chill out. Wow, this was uh, totally worth the effort. We did get 
a bomb to go and use in the other room over there. Right, we'll come back with our cracked key here. Been a pretty long first floor. Been a pretty long first floor, but goddamn, it's been good. I like having blue map here. I like having blue map a lot. Okay. Aha, this is one of my rooms. It is one of my rooms. So now we can use our desecrated heart here, and it removes a broken heart. Lovely. Lose all your bombs. Nah, I'm okay. I've got to keep my bombs. Thank you. Okay, pretty good stuff here. Pretty good stuff. Right, now it's just the ultra secret room. And then after that, we are out of here. What's there? What's reflected in this room, by the way? There's a reflected... Is that a key? I think it's a key underneath him. I don't need a reflected key right now. I've got 18. Wow, that's a lot of keys to get on the first floor somehow. That's a lot of keys. But yeah, we're playing around with our uh, with our broken hearts a little bit already, but it'll get a bit more intense as we go on. A little bit more crazy. Good, good. And this is going to have actually a pretty half-decent item here. Shoot the whoops, not the best. Wasn't expecting an active, but I can certainly be up for it. Ooh, I've got a glass of orange juice and ice. Just the summer vibes. The summer vibes right now, people. Ooh, I like the fact that it's purple as well. Yeah, not the craziest damage, at least not until our damage gets crazy, but it's nice to have. It's definitely nice to have. Shoop is not bad at all. Do not mind it. This guy's not too difficult for us either here. Which I think Dingle's one of the easiest bosses in the game to not get hit against. Once you learn how to sort of get around his dashing, which... It, it, at the first, it's pretty daunting, but it's very easy once you understand it. Not the best item to gain there. Um, but I think we're just going to keep going down the regular path for now. I like his new portrait there. And we got ourselves a library. Do remember that libraries are no longer a free book uh, worm transformation. This is one and done. So is there any of these we actually want to take? Replaces itself with an open variant and spawns a book with an aura on use. Eminent. Enemies within the aura's radius will be affected by Solomon's each time it blinks deal damage while holding the open variant will recharge it. On opening variants, you spawn ghost-like stars and dreams that chase enemies and explode an impact, replaces itself back to closed. That's quite complicated and we already have a good active. Um, do I even want to pick one of these up? I don't think I do. Which, this is great. That's what libraries should be like sometimes. It shouldn't just be, here's a freebie. <laughs> really good change in my opinion. From the balance, community balance mod. We get ourselves the Empress, which, while not crazy good right now, I think we can make work uh, for our boss. Or uh, down the line a little bit. We're not hitting with many of our, like, Devil's Tooth shots. Is that what it was called? Devil's Tooth? But we are killing stuff reasonably fast anyway, so it's not a huge concern. Okay. Little fire fella. Item room is going to hold for us tiny planet. I will take that in a heartbeat. Thank you. Tiny planet is an item that I actually really enjoy. Um, and I think it can make runs very interesting. I actually, there's a new visual for it. I don't know what mod's adding that, but I really like it with the actual little tiny planet going around. Look. Didn't mean to get hit there. My bad. We got a joker. I like that. I'll probably be carrying that a little more uh, around with me. Unfortunately, Shoot the Whip isn't affected by a tiny planet. It would be nice if it was. But, shame. Oh, man. I'm getting hit on my purple hearts quite a bit more than I anticipated. Good job I had them, actually, even though I was dissing on them just a minute ago. Damn it. My uh, Shoot didn't last long enough to hit that guy. It's a little easier to hit our two shots now because they last in the air longer. Lovely. And we can use that to get rid of a heart there. Thank you. Chop, I'll pop in and have a look. Glad I did. Is that Champion's Belt I see there? Yes, it is. So Champion's Belt for a damage up. Not not a bad uh, not a bad idea to grab that if we get the money for it. Having a really hard time hitting some of these guys. Okay, good. I will pop that. Didn't mean to blow up that guy, but there you go. Ooh, Ultra Secret Room Teleport. We're uh, getting some good stuff in terms of Ultra Secret Rooms going at the moment, which is weird. Okay. Champion's Belt, I will take. 
And what we got going on in here? We do have an item. What item is that? Shop items can be purchased even if unaffordable. Ooh. Nah, that's not going to be super useful for us, that. I think we're just moon card here. Um, Mum's contact, yes please. Okay, so now we're at the point where we want to be using Desecrated Heart a little more regularly, I think. Not just waiting till full charge. Because at the moment, we have a lot and a lot of Broken Hearts to deal with. We've got some good items, but lots and lots of Broken Hearts to deal with. So we're going to have to sort of work our way around this. We're going to have to work our way around this and try and get rid of some of these hearts. But we have good damage now. Nope, don't mean to buy that. If I bought it, I'm not quite sure. We got the Joker here. It's good. Lovely. I'm wondering what sort of is the most ideal level of charge to gamble at. Probably like just over halfway, right? Just over 50% odds. To feel sort of more confident about it. It's a sketchy one, but I like the idea. It's a sketchy one, but I like the idea. Let's do it after the boss, shall we, and see what happens. I think we gotta take these risks. The real risk is if we don't get it to pay out, don't get a broken heart removed, and the next time also doesn't remove one, then we're like a whole full charge down with nothing to show for it. Boom. Oh wait, I see, I can repeatedly use it. Ah, okay. That's a little different than I thought. That's that's a bit easier for us to use, knowing that. Whoa, my sprite looks a bit crazy. Okay, what we got going on here? Spirit of Denial is good, but not the best. We got this red bag here, which uh, chance to drop red pickups after clearing room. Um, they should. Red pills, crack keys. Eh, not amazing. Hungry soul, not the best. Not not the best stuff here. Let's uh, let's pop ourselves on this a few times. See if it, we can get a broken heart removed here. Does, is it not removing broken hearts anymore? This oh no, oh no, it's not. It's not. We we'll do one more. <laughs> I'm a gambling man. Um, hungry soul. I'll I'll take hungry soul at least. And then we'll go. Okay, my character has become rather strange looking, but oh well. It's very interesting to me. I've, I've put myself in major harm's way here, but... It does look like using them spikes can't remove broken hearts anymore, at least. Or maybe it never did and I just had that wrong. Petrified poop, I guess I'll take it. I've not got a trinket right now. Okay, I'm really hoping for some cool stuff on this floor. Oop, Dad's lost coin. That does not give us a... Um, a broken heart at all, which is rather nice. Unfortunately, we started at such abysmal luck that gaining extra luck really makes no marketable difference for us, unfortunately. It's not the most ideal. We need a bit more health before we start gambling with our axe more often, don't we? That'll help. Thank you. Hey, we got a good few red items. I was kind of tempted by that red item thing that was going to give us potential red keys, but I thought it was too much of a gamble. Another library here. Oh, damn. The weird book is good. The weird book lets you contain all other books. But at the same time, I don't want to touch any of them because I've got enough broken hearts. So I guess I'm going to look what's over here, but that's, that's sad, that is. But then again, weird book isn't as good when all the other books disappear, so... Justice. Okay. Still don't know when I'm going to use my Joker card here. We'll figure it out. I do have flight, I always forget that. Ooh, we got a thingy teleport to error room here, and a red rune. Ooh, wait, does the red rune work in here? Red rune. Hell yes. Oh wait, are there, so are any of these permanent? Okay, one of those is permanent. Nice. Okay, nice. I like that. That's that's some good usage out of it there. 
I like a good bit of usage. These hungry ghosts are doing some good work too. I like that. I think we've got a decent setup here. I'd like a bit more damage, a bit more fire rate. I think those two things we kind of have coming to us at the moment, we need them. Hey, let's pop that. Yeah, I really like this back and forth. You really get to play around with your health values a lot, lot more with this new version. There's a, there's a lot more potential gambling involved, and I like that. Th this character is really a gambler's paradise, and we've we've really stepped into that. I still don't know what the hell's going on with his face, mind you. I can't know why we're just a black bar. <laughs> but that is other modded item shenanigans, I will bet. Okay, nice. Take care of you. Hello, bat boy. Ow! Okay. Really ought to be careful with my HP here. That helps. And we did actually get an angel deal here. Trisagian, yes please, I will take it. And now health is looking real, real funky. Okay, we go. Trisag's a, a risky one here. <laughs> In terms of the amount of broken hearts that was giving us. Really? I'm gonna do that to my bomb. Interesting room. We could make something work in there, potentially. I like it. There's a crane game here that I didn't see. But yeah, having having this extra piercing with this should make this, this build a lot better now with having Trisag. Not a guaranteed victory still, but it puts us in a better spot. Still think we're one or two items away from greatness. Sack room. I still think sack room does get rid of your broken hearts, though, but... Anyways, let, let's let's gamble. There you go. Yeah, I got an early charge there because I gambled. I, I really like that mechanic. I'm going to use that a bit more now, knowing the way it works. I like it. Ooh, that was beautiful. And a half soul heart to boot. We like it. Ooh, a planetarium. 21% chance. Apparently, I missed an item room at some point. I don't even know what that is, but I'm going to take it. The hell... Um, every 10 seconds in a hostile room, create a hexagon portal and summon something. Okay. I'm guessing I have friends now. Okay, I got these portals with me. I Very, very much in a bad spot with my, uh, with my health now. But this is how I like to play this guy. My stemma here is, is more fun played as a risky bisky. I can't charge my desecrated heart with uh, with batteries. Interesting to note. But yeah, you're not getting to that. Come on, secret room. Help me by somehow getting rid of all these broken hearts. I don't know how you'd do that, but try. Hey, I got a shortcut again there with a the battery. Ow. Was that item room this floor? I don't know why item room this floor is. Always you, isn't it? It's always you. Okay, yeah, I, th I think just over halfway is working out pretty well for us with Desecrated Heart. You save yourself a few rooms of charge, but it's not drastic. It's not, it's not crazy. There it is. Not that I'll probably take anything from here unless it's God tier. I can't even tell what that is. I can't take it. I've got too much broken hearts on the line, boy. See, the problem is, once you get to this amount of broken hearts, it's hard to even get enough backlog of health to gamble with. Oh, that was a really, really big whiff there. Nice. And then what's this here? How many broken hearts is it? It's none. Wicked ring. Weird that wasn't any. Wicked Ring could be really good. I think Wicked Ring gives us increased charges. If that works on our Desecrated Heart, that could be very, very nice. But I have a feeling, somehow, somewhere, I have a feeling that's not how it's going to work for us today. I don't think the game would be quite so kind. But I guess we'll figure it out in good time. Oh, that was, that was pretty kind. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, wait, no, no, it is, it is, it is. Okay, there you go, yeah. My desecrated heart just triggered, I didn't realise. But yeah, about there, managed to get a good shortcut to it. 
So those extra hearts. I'm liking this portal thing. This portal thing's weird. It's intriguing and I like it. Yeah, I wonder how many uses on never average it'd be if you did it at one charge. I wonder how much health you'd have to burn. Probably quite a bit, I'd imagine. Some decent stuff in here. Um, yeah, I'll buy the soul heart, I think. And I think I'll just skedaddle. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on my desecrated heart to see if I get any charges from that ring. The wicked ring. God, it's a little bit of a hard uh, room there. We're not really seeing Devil's Tooth proc off the back of this, though, which is slightly slightly sad to see. Hey, another freebie there. Okay, you can actually you can actually gamble a Desecrated Heart a bit more than I thought you'd be able to. I thought the chances wouldn't be quite as high as this, and I'm, I'm liking it. I feel like gambling is definitely worthwhile. It doesn't feel like it's uh, throwing good after bad. I appreciate it. This redesign is very interesting. It's not a massive change. It's not crazy, but it's nice. It's nice to see. Interesting idea for a room here. Ooh. Was not expecting that. Really? Do you know what? Lump of coal, I will take. Lump of coal, I will take. It's actually really, really good with what we've got going on right now. Wasn't expecting that, though. S sad that it didn't give us a secret room item, but still. I'll take it. But yeah, Lump of Coal, actually pretty decent with what we've got going on here. There we go. He's spewing out fellas all over the place. I do like the instant charge there. Where's the item room at? Not here. Hey, another free free bunch of charges there. I'm liking it. It's working out for me super super well. Oh God, the ghosties, the ghosty boys. I missed out on a golden key there, but I don't think I need it. Oh, a red chest. Oh man. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was trying to gamble with desecrated heart there, but on three charges, it ain't gonna happen, is it? It ain't gonna happen. That is not the way to play this. Nope, not worth it. Long trekked for that, but had to find out. Turn away back to the boss. This is this is an interesting run. We've not got a lot of items, but they're they're coming together reasonably well. We've got some good stuff going on. We've still got our Joker card that we haven't had to use yet. We've been getting the uh, Devil Deers when we wanted them. Let's see how this floor goes. That's that's very nice. That was that was that was beautiful. Wow. Sister Viz an annihilated. And another item that we do not need. Uh, oh god, I can't see where I am. That we do not need to spend a broken heart for. I like those. On occasion, those are quite nice. I seem to be few and far between. Or maybe it's just boss items that are like that. Maybe all boss items are freebies. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been paying enough attention to the boss items. Probably is the case, isn't it? Oh god, having these guys that are like exactly moving with me is is, is all fully distracting. I find it really hard to keep an eye on it. Hey, got another freebie, baby. That's like four in a row now. This this amount of charge seems to work really, really well for us. And we're sort of crawling ourselves back into the point of having okay-ish health. I actually didn't think it'd be so, like, so plausible. I thought I was too dug in. I thought it was far too dug in to the, uh, the broken heart economy. But no, it's, it's working out for us. It's working out. Now, crazy amount of minions here is actually helping a significant amount. They're doing a good job. They're just spreading crap everywhere and killing everything. Getting hit by stuff on occasion, but it's 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 hard to keep track. <laughs> nice. Having mum's contact here is really good too. Red stew, don't mind if I do. 
lovely stuff. There you go, another freebie. Not a, not a nice room here. Not a nice room. Hand, if you could drop and stop wasting my red stew timings, please. That would be uh, just beautiful. Just want to make sure to make the most of my red stew, please. There's a token there. I don't think I've got anything to use a token on, really. I guess we'd come back, but with the Joker card, but eh. I can't really easily come back even. Oh, there you go. Annihilated. We did get a Devil Deal here anyways as well. Beautiful. Um, fire an additional Herming Tier at a fast rate, but with reduced damage if Isaac has no red hearts. Plus one black heart. Seems good enough to me. Let's go for it. Right. Let's Scarper. Seems like a good idea when we have no red hearts as this character. That item seems like it could be pretty good. I don't know exactly how it'll work with uh, our old Triserg here, but we'll see. We'll find out. Oh, dude, stop moving my bombs. Oh, move my bomb and then I get hit with it. Even worse. And the room's then not even very good. Ugh. I am seeing Herming Tears on occasion, so it is firing Trisag Tears. Not just regular tears. I'm seeing a Herming Trisag on occasion. I like it. It's nice to have. Yeah, they all kind of collect around. Rather than just passing through. These last few floors aren't going to be quite as interesting. Because there's not as many broken heart based items here. Oh, what the hell did I get hit by there? What's, what's going on right now? I'm confused. Okay, there you go. You were just being foolish. Aw, oh, wrong way. Darn. Come along now, fella. Let's go. Look at our army. This, uh, this planetarium item's rather intriguing. I don't even know what mod this planetarium item's from. I'd imagine Eclipsed. If I was to guess. I don't actually know. Yeah, those Herming ones are super valuable right now. When I don't know where the last enemy is, I just kind of walk around and wait till my Herming goes. There they are. Okay, annoying enemy. Instantly killed. They're just throwing so much fire around these birdies. I think as I get later into the game, I'm spawning better and better fellas. Very much working in our favour. Get boss time. Yeah, look at all those fires. There's nothing you can do, good sir. There's nothing you can do. I've only got two black hearts right now. Make that three and a half. Uh, damage, uh, black heart pick up. Um, point 0.5 black hearts. Picking up eternal heart. Adds black hearts as well. Uh, that's not very useful for us, really, is it? Hmm. Yeah, that's, neither of those are amazing for us, unfortunately, as much as I would like to take some more damage. Red Stew's not going to last forever, but it's actually going pretty strong so far. I don't know how much of the damage boost we have left, but I think it's still a decent little bit, so let's keep it going as long as we can. As long as the game stops wasting our time, we can keep it for a little while here, I think. But it keeps giving us these rooms that just goddamn like to waste your time. Okay, nice. Yara, Yara. You can get a little bit more out of that. Not that I need the bombs particularly, but still. Sixteen point two five there. Can we get back over that amount? Yeah, we can. Sixteen point eight nine. That's why I like Red Stew. You can keep the boost going if you play it right. And I think at the minute we are definitely playing it right. It's all about how quickly you can make sure you're killing stuff. 
Did I shoot the whoop there and nothing happened? I'm not quite sure exactly what happened. But yeah, we're still on 17 damage. We were on 16 a few rooms ago, so we're gaining damage as we go through this from Red Stew. As long as we can keep that momentum up, we can keep that going for quite some time. Lovely. We're almost up to 18 damage now. Almost. We're teetering on the edge. There you go. And then there's our boss. Oh, I don't even know what hit me there. Yep. <laughs> Annihilated. There's too many fires on you from my Skellabobs. My Skellingtons. Probably not a bad idea for a room here for us. Although it's a bit of a waste of time, I will say. Come on, just give us an item or give us nothing. Okay, they both gave us nothing. Sun card here. I'm actually going to take the sun card. I know that the Joker does work well for the next floor, but I'd rather just have sun cards so we can be fast and keep our damage burner. I think that's more valuable to us. I'm on 16.98 now. We're very far away from the boss here anyways, but... Yep, there you go. Back up to 17 damage, good. Why you gotta move my bombs? Stop moving my bombs! Oh my god, I just want to shortcut through here. That's all I want to do. Okay, good. That's all I wanted to do. Just pass through peacefully. Okay. And the bosses shouldn't be too bad. I'm just a little worried about my current HP. Like how I'm going to fare at the actual surviving of the boss. But otherwise, I'm pretty confident in how all this is going. Plenty of keys to the next floor as well. Another heart. We've actually managed to get almost all of our hearts off here, which is very surprising. We're up to 17.8 damage again here, so it's easy to get back up to the right amount of damage. Right. Boss time. Now, this shouldn't be too bad because our, our minions will do a good job of taking care of him, but. We're not going to insta kill him this time. Not quite. Hardest bit is seeing where the hell I am right now. There's a lot going on. Just about managed. Ooh, that soul heart will do as well. We're still on 17.5 damage here, so Red Stew is still carrying us. As it has and always will. Toxic Shock is a must here. Honestly, Eternal Bombs is pretty good too. I'm going to take that as well. And the, the rest here we can leave. The Eternal Bombs is double damage to bosses. So very, very nice on that front. And then this guy is just going to... Yeah. Dirty little time waster. Oh, man. Absolutely horrible boss here. Pro killed pretty quickly though. Unfortunately, bosses don't gain as much time. On a thingy, uh, red stew. Ow. Not much point gambling to remove broken hearts at this point. What's left? Please tell me. How is there still an enemy left in here? What's going on? I'm. How could there possibly be an enemy left? Yeah, what the hell happened there? That was weird. I want two hearts. Two hits and a dream. You just killed all my friends as well. I didn't much appreciate it. Okay. At least everything's dying very quickly. Toxic Shock's helping a bunch. Ooh, a half soul high actually means a hell of a lot right now. Oh. And that's why sometimes I do stupid stuff and get hit very easily. 
But how are we going to live through this? This is sketchy. Unfortunately, we don't have all our friends for our boss now. Oh, Soul Heart. Yes, okay. We're back in the running, baby. We're back in the running. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, God damn it. But then we keep going the wrong way to the boss. Just ignoring the secret room for now. Don't want to do anything to distract or jeopardize. Oh my goodness, what the hell was that about? There's an item there somehow, even with minus 4.6366 luck even. I will swiftly check that out. Snake, not... Actually, yeah, snake is worth it. Why not? Okay. Good, good, good. We are here. It's boss time. You shall perish quickly, my good sir. Okay, the homing shots are helping a ton. Having them just sitting on him is uh, is pretty great. Oh, god damn, he got me. There you go. Oh, well, we skipped the last phase entirely. Okay, well, I hope you guys did enjoy that. Another look at the new Mastema. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.